Hey, this is Josh. Just uh, wanted to do the video showing you how we're staying warm in the Indiana winter. Just had a cold snap. Uh, get down into the uh, negatives, the Fahrenheit, below zero. So I'm just going to take you around the RV and kind of show you what we did. We, uh, a month or two ago, we actually wrapped the uh, RV bottom in plastic just to keep the wind from blowing underneath and sucking all the heat out of the undercarriage. Classic. We actually didn't even do a good job. I just uh, taped it around the wheel hubs and around the front of the RV. And otherwise I just stuck the plastic underneath the, uh, the uh, compartments. This one on. even taped underneath the I'll just put plastic right there. And then when the snow came, uh, about two weeks ago, we I just piled snow up against the RV and we stuck some of the pink insulation up under the RV here and uh, the in, in, same place inside, opposite side. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> it's David. Yes, it's me. This is my first video. This is the first time I've been in why the he's building. Videos. All right, David. <laughs> There's James. Say hi, James. Hi. One thing all our viewers worry about is. Uh, Fuel hose freezing, so that's buried under underneath here, and we haven't had a problem with that. You just leave the gray tank open. I know a lot of people close close the valves, especially at night, but we haven't done that. The snow's added quite a bit of insulation. Wrapped the uh, left the water on, wrapped it in a heat cord, and um, the styrofoam, you can get styrofoam to uh, wrap the water hose in at lows. And I haven't had a problem with our water line freezing. Uh, we had left for a week and came back and uh, the park's RV spigot had frozen. And I just wrapped some more heat cord around that and within about 30 minutes to an hour it had unfrozen. It wasn't a really big deal. And we had a uh, one of these propane uh, tanks delivered, and that's kind of what everyone here has done, is have one of these big uh, propane tanks delivered, and it gets filled up about once every two weeks, so about twice a month. Uh, they'll be back out probably at the end of this week to uh, refill it. Um, Can you show where the lines are? In this the lines are in here. So, there was heat cord down in there, and it was actually getting so warm with the snow that it started to melt. I've had to rebury the line a couple times. So, in our water compartment, so what everyone worries about is your water line freezing. Uh, we just left some of the heat cord exposed, and that's kept the compartment uh, unfrozen even when it's dropped. Uh, and into the negative temperatures. And that's pretty much it. No the baby. more snow you can pile up against the RV, the better. Yeah, Our uh, so. neighbor over there actually put um, hay bales up against his RV and then piled snow over the hay bales. And I'm sure he's actually even warmer than we are. Uh, I feel like it's warmer now that we've piled snow up against the RV than uh, it was before. Anything you want to say? And being from Maine, it really hasn't been that bad. They've only gotten seven to twelve inches down here, and uh, by tomorrow, all the snow is going to start start to melt. You have anything else to say, Becky? I don't think so. Okay. Pretty snug inside and cozy. Yeah. I'll show you what we did on the inside. Yeah, so we'll turn it off and and so back inside. Um, 
we just have this one little heater going and that pretty much keeps the uh, furnace from coming on almost all day uh, while the sun's up. Uh, it comes on about 15 minutes every hour at night. That's kind of the biggest uh, suck on the gas. And we just put in the pink insulation right there and uh, have some of this uh, one inch foam uh, tucked underneath some of the slides. And it's, it's been pretty cozy. We also have a Mr. Buddy heater uh, just in case. Um, just in case the uh, furnace were to go out for some reason. But so far we haven't had any problem. We have our little coat rack there. And the biggest thing is just keeping the snow out of the RV. That's all for now. We also have the... Nope, we I guess not. <laughs> we also have these... The reflectics, reflectors over the put, windows. That we put... Um, it does help keep cool in the summertime and warm in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. We put those in the windows. We have but, it in the, our front window of the RV. Yeah. We have a big... I taped a whole bunch of this together to fit the front window. And we have that in the front. I think... Do we have more than one layer? There's Just like the one. Layers. And there's a uh, there's a screen that comes down over the uh, front of the the uh, front window. But during the day, we just I just let the the uh, sunlight come in. So I think that's that's pretty much it. That's all for now.